Hey, it's Coach with Tactical Hive, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about plate carriers. Um, see a lot of guys with a lot of stuff on. There's a lot of cool stuff out there now. You don't have to wear it all at once. All right, one of the things about your plate carriers, you want to keep it as light as possible. Uh, what's the mission? These are the things you got to ask yourself. There's certain certain things that you're going to have all the time, but you know, a lot of stuff that you may not need. Okay every time you don't want to be just just because there's exposed molly doesn't mean i need to put another pouch on there right uh good basic setup here you want to have your three magazines right up here in the as tight a fitting closest fitting kangaroo pouch that you can get uh i always like to have a fixed blade knife that i can get to fairly quickly and easily mounted right about here and right in front of that, you have your multi-tool. These are things that you can get to right away because you're going to need them without having to dig through your kit to find them, right? Knife, magazines. Uh, this pouch here is just left there uh, for when I'm not wearing a battle belt. Sometimes that's all you'll have is your plate carrier, and you're actually going to mount uh, your pistol to your plate carrier, okay? Uh, it, it may be rare, but, you know, it's there just in case. Um, now, you want to have a bag somewhere here on the side, out of the way of your draw for your pistol. So usually the opposite side. Uh, if, I'm, if I take my nods off during the day and those nods roll around on your helmet all day long, give your neck a break, okay? Take your nods off. You still want them on you. You don't want to leave that wire without uh, having your nods on you because, hey, guess what happens at the end of every day? It gets dark, okay? You want to be able to own the night, right? So keeping that uh, as slim as possible. <clears throat> Obviously you got your plates underneath here and then always have the behind the plate first aid kit. So if you do get whacked, you've got something to uh, plug the hole on you or your buddy. You want that behind the armor, not in front of it, because if you take one in there, you're gonna put a hole in all your, uh, all your repair stuff. Okay, gotta have that patch kit. Blowout kit somewhere on you all the time just makes sense. Okay. Uh, comms. There's usually a pouch in here. You can shove your comms in here, run the wires up, uh, you know, have it permanently attached here. And then no comms. I always like to have this VS 17 panel with the orange so you could throw out there uh, and get the attention of aircraft. So the good guys know where you are so they can drop the bombs on the bad guys, okay? Uh, now, if I'm running this without any uh, uh, battle belt, then this is where I'm gonna mount the, uh, the pistol. And it's gonna roll up right in here, just slips in there. And that just stays right there. I'm not using this molly anyway, because if I do have a battle belt on, that's where my draw is gonna come through. I wanna keep this nice and slick. You don't wanna be drawing around a bunch of shit, okay? Just keeping that, uh, again, as clean as possible. Now, that's for your plates, if you want plates. If, you, if you're going someplace where plates are gonna be too heavy, don't even bring the damn plate carrier, go with your Rhodesian. It's nice, it's light. You can put almost the same stuff on it. It's got a few pouches, but this weighs a whole lot less, and if you're humping around the hills of Afghanistan, you gotta weigh you know, the, the weight of your protection uh, against what you're actually, you know, doing, okay? Um, now this, uh, this get up here, this is the last thing I went to war with. <clears throat> I invaded Iraq with that on. And at your gas mask back here, just in case that WMD was a real. We thought it was real. So this is an older setup. They, don't, they didn't have kangaroo pouches back then. So you had your, your add-on pouches here. I had an admin pouch with chem lights and whatever else you shoved in there. But again, still had that same fixed blade knife in about the same spot. Uh, I like having this on here. Cut a man dress off real fast with that bad boy. Just whoosh, zip him down and then search is over. Uh, again, comms would go in this pouch here. This is the comm link, runs up, same spot. Small uh, nav light. 
uh, had a backpack because we didn't know how long we were going to be out. Uh, there was a lot of lot less resupply back then, so we carried a lot more with us. Uh, normally, I would have breaching charges back here, some water, uh, whatever possibles, but it stayed back in here. And then I had the extra this blowout kit and your kit for atropine 2 pam chloride in case you got hit with a, a bio uh, weapon. So we had to carry more stuff just because we didn't we didn't know what we we're gonna encounter. So again, would I rather have gone with something really really light? Hell yeah, this things get this gets old. Okay, but you gotta have uh, enough pouches to uh, to carry what you need. But you don't want to have too many pouches on, guys. Uh, you put an extra pouch on, you're gonna fill it with something. You're not leaving the wire without, and whether it's just you know snacks for later or, or extra warmies or fuck, throw more mags in there. All right. Um, and last minute, a lot of those things seem like a good idea, but through some experience, and you'll learn what you what you need and what you don't need. And uh, leave what you don't need at home. Take just what you need. That's pretty much all I got for you today with the plate carriers. I mean, oh, well, one other thing. So this is another setup I did for a, a cop friend of mine, but um, plate carriers are expensive. They cost a lot of money. If you're just going to train with them, if you just run around with it, and you want to, you know, one that you can just beat up, Airsoft, uh, I think this one, I'm not sure even who makes it, but the Airsoft guys, they make some good stuff. It, it'll last a while. It's not quite as comfortable. It's not quite as cool. The material's not quite as good, but you can beat the hell out of it and it doesn't cost you as much. You know, and it'll, it'll, it lasts surprisingly well. You know, the ballistic nylon's ballistic nylon, I guess. Um, but you notice, you know, again, the knife's in the same spot. The multi-tool stays in the same spot. Everything stays as close as you can. So you get used to working that same gear if you're moving from one platform to another, even if it's just a Rhodesian. You still want to keep as much of the stuff as, the, uh, as similar as possible between your platforms so that you don't have to retrain. And under stress, you're not going to be making mistakes. All right. That's pretty much all I got for you today. But that's your plate carriers. This is the... Uh, Old busted, and this is uh, semi-new hotness. There's uh, the JPC. Uh, they, there's a bunch of good ones out there. Um, they cost some money, but uh, how much is your life worth?